Good morning, Cowboy Jim up here in Fort McMurray, Alberta, Canada, will shoot. I don't know anyone else around the world who would be watching me. If I did, I'd, I'd, I'd send them mm, some serious amount of cash and say, hey, recommend me to your friends. Well, I guess that's not likely to happen. But anyways, I'm listening to the microwave and it's beeping, telling me that my spaghetti is ready. Uh, it's probably not telling the truth because usually it takes longer for spaghetti to heat up than the bowl in which I heat this. You understand what I'm saying. I hope you do. I thought about uh, that spaghetti as I sat out uh, with my father, the creator, and I had my first coffee, and we all know what goes with coffee. And uh, I thought, I'm going to go in and I'm going to heat up uh, not last night, uh, but about mm, five nights ago, I made spaghetti. I, I froze uh, several containers of it because I don't know how to do anything in a small nature. And so I'm I, when I cook, I really cook, eh? which is good as long as what you cook tastes good. It's not good if it doesn't taste good. I, anyways, I chose to heat up my spaghetti. Oh, I know, oh, dear Lord, God in heaven, didn't the creator teach me how to make spaghetti? I think it is because, as in, well, I may have been nine, I may have been 11, but I walked up from the beach on Georgian Bay on the left-hand side of the main drag at Wasega Beach in Ontario, and I came to what was called the Georgian uh, Restaurant, and I stood there, and I stared into the restaurant, and I made a commitment. <laughs> oh, jeez. Children are really children. My commitment that I made to myself was that this would be the place where I would buy my first meal. It's not like as though I hadn't eaten before. My mom was a great cook. I remember the last baby that was born into our family, and uh, her name was uh, Rebecca. We called her Becky. Shoot, it might have been Sheila. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, geez. Time mm, insidious creeps up on you. And uh, my dad, he made soup. And uh, the one main ingredient in the soup was pepper. It seemed to me, as a five, six, seven year old kid, uh, my dad didn't have a blessed clue about how to cook. And what he failed at, I purposed in my heart to learn. And uh, uh, pepper's a very important ingredient in terms of being uh, part and parcel of an overall uh, uh, combination of flavors, but it's not the only one, eh? It's not. Anyways, I stood out in front of the Georgian restaurant. It was Italian. Okay. And I thought, Next payday, if I have enough, 
I'm going to go in there and order myself a plate of spaghetti. And I did. Get this? I kind of sit back in my chair. I look, well, I have to pull myself ahead a bit, but I sit back in my chair and I say, I, or I walked in. I was so shy, I could hardly talk to anyone ever. Well, actually, my whole life. But anyways, I walked in the front door and they had what was called a maitre d. Well, I didn't know what that guy was all about. And he said, can I get you a seat? I said, sure. I'm not sure, was I nine or 11? I think I was nine, I'm not sure. He took me over into the center of the blessed, blessed, blessed restaurant right in the center. And he said, what would you like? And they sent a lady over to take my order. And I said, I would like a plate of spaghetti. I had never had spaghetti that hadn't come out of a can. <laughs> I don't think my mom ever made spaghetti. Oh, we heated a lot of that stuff up. I said, I'd like a plate of spaghetti if it would be all right with you. The guy smiled at me and he said, no trouble. He brought me that plate of spaghetti. I looked around the restaurant I was a baby child. Boy, I'd been working a long time. And I knew, I, uh, I, I'm telling you, I, I think that plate of spaghetti cost me $3.25. That was like two days work. But I had a real problem when guy brought it to me and set it down in front of me because I looked across at a family. Okay. Back then, that meant a man and a woman and some children. Nowadays, uh, you don't know what that means, family. You don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I guess I'm a family. I, I, I live alone in a stupid apartment, not out at my ranch, where I could talk to the deer, wake up during the night because the elk were fighting in the front yard, their horns banging against each other. I guess we just have to move on. I don't like moving. Anyways, I watched a family across from me and they had uh, spaghetti in front of them. And I, I watched, I studied, I looked at my spaghetti and the plate on the plate in front of me. And I, then, then, then I watched the, this Italian family eat their spaghetti. And they took a, a spoon and they took a fork well, I didn't know anything about that. I mean, I didn't have a clue. Uh, I'm Irish. Okay, there may be justification for a lot of shortcomings in my life. Not the least of which would it be my height. Five, six and a half. Anyways, they did something with their spaghetti and it ended up being wrapped around their fork, which then they conveyed to their mouth. Italian people talk with just about as much as Irish, eh? It's unbelievable. But anyways, I didn't know how to do that. And I thought, I don't know how to eat my spaghetti. Well, the stuff that used to come in the big can that mom would heat up for us, 
She was a good cook. Just never learned how to do spaghetti that I'm aware of. I sat for 10 minutes staring at my $3.25 plate of spaghetti on the table in front of me. I watch those Italian people. Hey, hey, gee whiz, they, oh, they talk about as much as Irish do. But they, in, in between sentences, they jammed as much food into their mouths as they could. Spaghetti. I didn't understand. I mean, all I had to do was take uh, my stupid fork and spear as much spaghetti as I could, twist it around a bit, and convey it to my mouth. But I didn't know how to do that. So after about 10 minutes, I'd work two days setting up pins in the bowling alley at seven cents a line, at seven cents a customer. And I gently shoved my plate away from me. I got up. I was nine. I might have well been 11. I think I was nine. And I walked over to the till. Uh, that's where we used to pay the till. I won't, I won't spell it for you. I can. And I ripped open my little pocket full of change. And I doled out, D-O-L-E-D, -E doled out $3.25. That was the best lesson that I had ever been taught and I remember, that I choose to remember. I paid for that plate of spaghetti. I looked back at it and I thought, I wonder what that would have tasted like. And I walked out the front door and I thought, I'm not coming back here. I mean, unless perhaps Someone teaches teaches me how to twirl spaghetti on a on a big spoon. I walked home. I never told anyone. I didn't tell people much when I was a kid. I mean, I had three sisters. One was real young, and they loved me. I had a mom, she not only loved me, she told me that she loved me. I had her dad, he didn't tell me much. But I, I, I assumed um, that he kind of liked me a little and uh, may well have been mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps not. When he got in his 60s, I decided I'd try something. I told him one day on the phone, I said, I love you. Well, that took him quite a long time <laughs> to get over that. Well, I was probably lying at the time. But eventually, it's kind of like forgiving somebody that you really don't want to forgive who really doesn't deserve being forgiven and you say hey god I choose to forgive that person <laughs> no perhaps one day it happen that you actually wake up and you say oh my goodness I I forgave that person well I shouldn't be quite as upset with them as I am but anyways the Georgian restaurant <laughs> on the main street of Wasega Bay I learned, hey, don't buy food that you can't afford that you probably won't be able to eat. 
But I had a wonderful childhood. Oh, time to time, I remember. There were three friends that I had back then. Mike, Pete, and John. Oh. Mike and Pete, their dad, would stop at my front door every Sunday morning after I was like 12 and he'd pick me up and Mike and Pete and I and their dad, I think he had an old 60s chef and he'd take us down to church and drop us off. Oh, you wouldn't go in. Don't blame him. Uh, but He'd sit there and pick us up after Sunday school. We wouldn't stay for church. That, that was just blessed, bloody boring. But we went to Sunday school. Pete uh, died, I'm told by Joan. I'm not saying last names. I'm told by Joan back about 10 years ago. I went to my mom's funeral. I didn't get to, to preach or anything. I sure did have my dads, along with my, my kid sisters. Well, one of them is older than me. She is the oldest in our family. Oh, dear Lord God, she's 74. I'm two years younger than her until next week. And I'll be only one year younger. And I think, I think of life's experiences and I think Peter, he, uh, he was a good shot with a 22. Oh dear Lord God in heaven, that child could shoot. Mike, he was a younger brother, tall. Pete was my height. John, he uh, became a plumber. He was across the road from where I grew up. Every day after school, because none of us liked school. Perhaps John did. I, I, don't, I don't think so. Anyways, we'd walk down to the local dump and we would shoot the ever-loving blazes out of the rats that were running around by our feet. We had rats back in Ontario. They weren't liberals, but well, we had a few of those too. Anyways, so thank you. Oh, just an old memory from an old guy. Still feel like a stud colt getting ready to entertain his first mayor, but I'm telling you, I'm 73 next week. Who blessed bloody knew that age would creep up on you like that? Come right out of the blue. Little girl said to me, she said, you're not young. I thought, you got to be kidding. I spent my whole blessed life being young. Well, she said, you're not there now. I thought, whoa. <laughs> I had no idea. Okay, God bless. This is almost 20 minutes. Hey, please uh, accept my uh, apology for uh, uh, doing a video that has uh, absolutely no content. <laughs> None. Not a blessed bloody thing did I say today. That may be the title. Okay, God bless. If I can remember some other stupid stories about nothing, I may do them. Okay, God bless. I'm not kidding.